So CLS combines the expertise, the facilities and the reputations of two of the top addresses in Europe for AI research. And those are the Max Planck Institute for Intelligent Systems in Southwest Germany and the ETH Zürich in Switzerland. And what's special about the program is that students can benefit from both of those partners. And how it works is they're matched with not one, but two advisors. Uh, they spend most of their PhD with their main advisor, but they all spend at least one year at the location of their second advisor, who also helps guide the project. And at the end of the PhD fellowship, our students graduate with a PhD degree from ETH Zürich. To collect applications for our fellowship program, we use an online portal. You'll need to fill in an online application form. Then you need to upload a variety of supporting documents. So these are copies of your degree certificates. We also need copies of your transcript of records, um, as up to date as possible for any degree that you're currently in the middle of. You need to supply a motivation letter and a copy of your CV. And in addition, you'll need to get in touch with two to three referees and ask them to submit an online reference form directly into the portal. Our application portal is open throughout the summer with a closing date around the end of October. For the exact dates this year, please check the CLS website and the PhD program How to Apply. You do need to submit your parts on time. Your link will stop working at midnight on the day of the application deadline. Because we receive hundreds of applications, we will only evaluate the ones which are complete. So please plan ahead. After the closing date, we review the applications in a multi-step process, which takes several weeks. From mid-December, we will contact shortlisted candidates to join our selection symposium in January. The application form for our doctoral programme asks you to name um, at least one and up to three potential advisors from each of our partners. So one to three from the Max Planck side and one to three from the ETH Zürich side. This choice is important because it tells us several things. It tells us, first of all, which research areas you're interested in. It also tells us which people should evaluate your application. And finally, it tells us whether your application is going to make sense in the context of our program. Because remember, we're trying to match you up with what not one, but two advisors, one from each of the partners. So this is why we ask you to name at least one potential advisor from each side. So you can name up to six people in total, but you don't have to choose six names. It can be less. And I would recommend you only name people you're genuinely interested in working with. If a name doesn't appear on the pull down menu on the application form, it's because that faculty member is not recruiting through CLS this year. Finally, it's good to know that if you're invited to our selection symposium, you will perhaps meet other faculty members at that stage who could be interesting for you to work with, and it's okay to review and update your choice at that stage. So this is the part that really tells us why you're interested in CLS and what you'd like to do if you join the CLS Doctoral Fellows Programme. What are the research areas and projects that you're particularly interested in? Has the work of any of our faculty members caught your attention? And if so, why? What are your longer term career plans? And in general, what efforts would you like to contribute to in the shorter and longer term? So you don't need a fully worked out project proposal at this stage, although if you have an idea for one, feel free to write about it. The main thing is to remember that our faculty members have an enormous number of applications to read through. So aim to make this as clear and concise as possible. Choose a nice clear layout and a font size, which is at least 12 point. And although we allow you to submit up to two pages, um, 750 to 1000 words should be enough to get your message across. Yeah. 
We require a minimum of two references to support your CLS application. And these should come from people who are well qualified to comment on your suitability to carry out research at PhD level. So the ideal referee is somebody who themselves has experience of supervising and examining PhD students. And for that reason, we don't uh, allow references from classmates or, or PhD students. And a minimum of one reference can come from a postdoc. Uh, so the person should have experience of working with you on a research project. And if possible, this should be fairly recent. We do accept references from people in industry if they have first-hand experience of supervising you in a research capacity. But in that case, I would recommend that you supplement that reference with a second one from someone working in academia. So we require a minimum of two references, but you can supply a third one if that will help to cover all the aspects I've just mentioned. And finally, in the CLS application, you're the person responsible for contacting your referees and asking them to submit the reference. You need to go back to the registration email you received at the start of the process and send one of the links in that mail to each of your referees and ask them to fill it and submit the form to the online portal. Entry to the CLS Doctoral Fellowship Programme requires you to hold a master's degree in a relevant subject. If you don't hold a master's at the moment, but you're working towards one and you will obtain it by the summer after you apply, then you're eligible and can go ahead with the application. Beyond this, you need to be able to communicate clearly and very well in the English language. And above all, you need to be passionate about carrying out fundamental research on AI and learning systems topics and be really enthusiastic about being associated with both of our partners, the Max Planck Society side and the ETH Zurich side. If this is all true for you and you um, fulfil all of these requirements, please go ahead and apply. We're looking forward to hearing from you.